I came to Canada in 1968, after about three years in Britain. It was old Pierre Trudeau who had just become the Prime Minister of Canada at that time. I've been to hundreds of meetings on equality, on human rights, on racism. This country has a history of racist exclusion. We've been all fighting it, and this is one of the best scenes I've seen in a long, long time. I know it's about tragedies that are happening, but I'm so glad that all of you are here to make your voices heard that we want an end to racism in Canada. To those who yet, and fellow Canadians who look like Asians, who are Asians, those people who yell at them to go home, let me give them a message. I think I've earned the right to give this message. I've been around a long time, around the block a few times too. Asian community has been here for over 150 years. They are as Canadian as anyone else in this country. They are here to stay. So I say to those who say go home, Contend with your racism, cleanse your racism, clean yourself up, and become a good Canadian like all of us are. <laughs> racism demeans people. It takes people's dignity away from people. It dehumanizes you. We all know about the Kamagata Maru and the Chinese head tax and the Japanese concentration camps. We all know that. If we didn't do what we're doing today, yeah. then the road leads there. So it's so important. It's so important to do what you're doing today. It's so important. I let me give a message to parliamentarians in Ottawa and in all of the provincial legislatures and the territories. They should have a motion in each and every legislature of this country and the parliament of this country condemning racism and hate against Asians. And let me say something else to politicians because I was one at one time myself. I've seen politicians, you know, they like to keep us in silos. I've seen politicians go to the Chinese community, go to the Indian community, go to the Vietnamese community or the Japanese community, wear their dresses, speak a few words of their languages, and talk about multiculturalism. I have never seen them to go to a meeting downtown of business community and talk about multiculturalism. I've never seen them going to regular meetings and speaking Chinese or speaking Punjabi or speaking Japanese and saying, we have multiculturalism in Canada. It is the strength of Canada. Diversity is the strength of Canada. I have never say, I've never seen them do that because politicians like to have, a, have, have us in silos in different communities so they can talk to us. So I have a message for politicians. They need to stand up and talk about multiculturalism, equality, and diversity from one end of the country, from sea to sea to sea, in every meeting they go to. That is how racism has to be stopped. So stop being in silos, and this is a wonderful way to break those silos, and I'm glad that you're here. And I say to politicians one more thing. You know, politics is about winning elections. I know that. I know politicians need to win elections to make change. But once you win elections, please, stand for something. Make some change. Say something to Canadians to change our hearts and minds about racism, about the evil of exclusion. You know, we have, we have a bad history in this country from First Nations to the Chinese Canadians to the Indo-Canadians to the Japanese Canadians, you name it, we have a history. It's not a glorious history. We need to actually learn from that history and politicians need to learn from that history. Stand up each and every day in the legislatures of this country, in the meetings in this country, and condemn racism, 
support diversity, support equality, real equality, not just have Chinese food or Indian food and go home and think that that's done. Thank you very much.